Yo, 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 we're back, people. Man, we got a couple things going on, bro. Couple of things, no fights this weekend, of course, but we got some news for you. You know, uh, Thug Round, th- Thug Rama, Thug, Thug Rose Nama Yunus has got a fight in the works, baby. You know what I'm saying? For that championship title. Uh, they're talking about doing it April 24th, I believe. Um, April 24th in Singapore. So, uh, Asia card, which, uh, I don't know. I don't like, um, I hate when uh, big fights are o- overseas. I prefer them in America, you know. But they got to cater to the champion, which is Weili Zhang, which makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, she's the champ, uh, but will be and new and again very soon. Um, I see how hard Rose is working. I know Whaley's working really hard as well. I don't want to discredit what she's doing. I know she's out there getting busy. Um, but uh, I, I know she'd be paying attention, though, because she'd be commenting on my posts. Whaley Zang be commenting laughing faces on my posts when I post about Rose. She, she's being a bully. Nah, she's playing. But uh, it's cool. It's cool to interaction. You know what I mean, plus, I, man, I was I watched Whaley when she first came up. I went to, uh, I think it was her debut. Uh, might not have been her debut. It might have been her second fight. But it was UFC 227. In, in, in L.A., is that where, we were in L.A., my dog, me and my dog Joey, um, we both ran into her right outside, we ran into her right outside, uh, ran into her right outside the, um, the, ho- the fighter hotel, got a picture with her, but I knew when I watched her fight, it was after, this was a post fight, this was after her fight, I think it was her debut, I'm not positive, let me see though, um, um, I know it was two two seven though, for sure. But uh, when when we saw, we both were like, "Bro, this girl's the future of this division." Damn, she might have been early prelims. Yeah, she fought Danielle Taylor. Remember thick, thick little truck, uh, thick little legs, Danielle Taylor. Remember her? She's definitely not in the um. So her, so yeah, she fought. Damn, she fought three times. So that was nineteen. Yeah, so that was her debut though. That was her debut. Because uh, she fought Tisha Torres at 235. Fight night, Andrade versus Zang. That's when she won the... Damn, that was for the title. Oh, fight night was for the title. Anyways, my point is, when I saw Whaley first fight, making her debut, I was like, this girl's a problem. She's going to be a problem. She's going to be a real, real problem. And look what happened. She became champ, bro. So, um, very impressive. We called it, though. Me and my dog, Joey, we both called that, like... Yeah, she gonna be she gonna be the future, bro. Um, and that's what happened. She's a great fighter. Don't get me wrong, but I think Rose is the best fighter, skill for skill. I think Rose is the best. I think Rose can beat her. I think Rose is the one to beat her. If she does beat her, she's going down as the greatest strawweight in history. Um, that's a fact. You know what I mean? I'm super excited for this fight. I wish we could go, bro, but not gonna fly during COVID, and I'm not gonna fly across country to a different country during this whole mess. So definitely not gonna do that. But uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that fight. Hopefully, they can get it done for April 24th. That would be cool as fuck. Because, um, um, yeah, it will just be dope. It would be a great fight. Uh, I'm definitely, you know who I'm rocking with, Thuggy all day. Um, but, yeah, I just hope they book it so we can get shit going and get shit rolling. And then uh, at least we know we'll have a set date, you know, uh, which would be cool. Because I see them working. I know they're working. I'll be chopping it up. But, um I'm excited, that's for sure. I'm definitely excited. Uh, this is the greatest strawweight fight in history, in my opinion. Um, what they should do, what they should really do, is put Tatiana and Joanna on the undercard somewhere. That that that's 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 the move to make. Put Tatiana on the undercard of of, of Whaley and Rose because the winner of the Tatiana and Joanna can face the winner of Whaley and Rose. Just, you know, that's what I think. Tatiana definitely needs to uh, get something big for sure because she left number three. She's, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I think she should fight that one, either that Chinese girl or Joanna. I would prefer Joanna just because styles make fights and that'd be a crazy stylistic matchup. Uh, super wrestler versus super like Dutch kicks, kickboxing style, you know, stand up versus a re- classic stand up wrestler fight, you know, and I would love to see that. See how well Joanna can defend her takedowns against Tatiana. That would be beautiful. Um, but yeah, put that on the undercard. Whaley Rose, either the co main or main event, um, and then put 
Tatiana and Joanna somewhere under that, you know, on the on the main card, but somewhere under it. Or maybe open the main card with Tatiana and Joanna. That'd be fire, bro. That'd be sick. But uh yeah. So it's in the works. We'll see what happens in the next coming days if it gets finalized or in the next week or two, you know what I mean? I'm hoping I'm hoping that's the case. We'll see what's what. Uh anyways, if you like this video, man, uh subscribe to my channel, man. Show some love. Give me some traffic. Um Hit the notification bell for when the future content is uploaded. Uh, yeah, man, just show love. Um, tell me what fights you think uh, should be coming up. What you would, would, would like in the, that are in the works or maybe already finalized. Or what, what fights you like that are coming up. Uh, anyways, I'm out of here, man. Peace.